my name is Sunita and I'm currently in my third and final year at Durham University studying English Literature and today I'm going to be talking a little bit about what my course has been like at Durham, what my typical day looks like and what modules I've been studying. So each year is broken down into individual modules which are like the different topics that make up the whole of my course and as a whole my course has been really flexible and I've gotten a lot of choice in what modules I've taken so this year four out of those five modules uh, were chosen by me and only one of them is compulsory for all final year English students and that is the dissertation module. And that's generally been the case throughout my course and I've also noticed that going from first year to third year I've gotten more and more flexibility as I've um, progressed through my course in terms of how many modules I'm able to choose independently. Lecture based modules, so each of them are taught by one hour-long lecture every week and seminar modules so they're both taught by one two-hour seminar module every fortnight um, so I have two seminar modules and then the dissertation module finally is mostly independent but I do have two half an hour supervisions every term where I meet with my supervisor to discuss the dissertation project and get a little bit of help and guidance and the only other type of contact hour that I have is um, tutorials, so for both of the lecture modules that I mentioned earlier, those additionally have two tutorials every term for each module. So much less frequently than the lectures, but that's also a chance to additionally discuss um, the different topics and texts on the module. So altogether that only averages at roughly four contact hours every week, which really doesn't sound like much, but I'll go on to talk about what I do in terms of independent study, which will hopefully give an insight into why there are so few contact hours and why so much additional independent study time is needed on my particular course. There is the supervision, which as I said is just a one-on-one -on -one meeting with our supervisor who we get assigned for our dissertation topic and that's just a chance to share with them how our project is going, get advice on it, um, ask any questions we have. The dissertation is basically a big extended essay which we create and come up with and develop almost entirely independently. The supervisor is just there to provide a little bit of extra guidance or help if needed and they also give a bit of feedback on part of our dissertation which we get to submit to them. But apart from that it is a very independent project. That also explains why this year I only have five modules, so normally the year is broken down into six modules, but because the dissertation is such a big project, it's actually worth two modules, so that is why I only have five modules as opposed to six. In terms of what I get up to on a typical day, um, as I said, I only have roughly four contact hours a week, so a lot of the rest of my time is spent on independent study and self-directed learning, which is really, really important for my course. So personally, I'm definitely a morning person. Don't worry, that's by no means compulsory for a university student. That's just the way that I like to kind of organise my day and I concentrate best in the morning so I usually get up early and head straight to the library, either the main university library or the education library which is nearer to my house and I could be working on a whole variety of things in the library. It might be that I'm preparing for a seminar or a tutorial so as I mentioned earlier usually we're asked to prepare in some way for those types of contact hours it might be that we're told to read particular primary texts or do some additional secondary reading, which might be like reading an article or some literary criticism about the primary text that we're working on. And we might also be asked to answer some questions or prepare some ideas for discussion within the seminar or tutorial. 
I also might be working on, in my own time, um, formative or summative essays. So formative essays are basically like practice essays. They don't count towards our final marks, but they're really good to do because we're able to get feedback from our tutors or seminar leaders, which then helps to improve and try to do as well as we can for summative essays, which are the essays that do count. And they're very similar to coursework essays if you've done something like that in school. I also might be working on my dissertation, so as I said, that's a really big independent project, so that's taken up a lot of my time this year, and that is something that's specific to final year, so I might be planning, reading, researching, or writing sections of my dissertation, and that's definitely taken up a lot of my independent study time this year and I've had to plan very carefully when I'm working on my dissertation because it's so independent so otherwise it's very easy to fall behind with that because there aren't really any scheduled contact hours for that apart from the time with my supervisor. The only other thing I might be working on in my own time is exam revision, so we have exams towards the end of the year in the final term, so it's very similar to revising for an exam for GCSE or A level, so I might be going over my notes, I might be rereading the texts that I want to write on for my exam, I might be practicing questions from past papers, so Revision is another thing that I might be doing with my independent study time. But because there is so much reading for my course, that explains why so much of our time is spent on independent study and learning, and why we do have very few contact hours compared to some other courses. And in terms of my typical day, as I said, I'll usually head to the library first thing in the morning, I might even take my breakfast with me, and then I'll usually take a break for lunch, I might meet up with some other friends who are also in the library, and have a nice break, and have a chat, and then get back to work in the afternoon. Usually I'll finish up working around 4 or 5 o'clock, and head back home, and make dinner in the evening, and... After that, I don't really do any more academic work, mostly because I just can't concentrate in the evenings, I get really tired, so I'll switch off from academic work and usually just have a chat, socialise with my housemates, and also that is the time that I might get involved with any of the clubs or societies that I'm also part of at uni. Sometimes those things will also happen earlier in the day, and obviously I'll set aside time for that in my timetable and work around that, but apart from that, the evenings are generally just my leisure time to switch off, relax, and then try my best to get an early night if I can, and then wake up early the following morning and do the same again. So I hope you found that interesting and that gave you a little bit of insight into what it's like studying English at Durham and what a typical day might look like. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a lovely day!